ready for your host for the evening. Put your hands together for the one, the only, the incomparable, Montreal! Look to the right while the music is playing. Shake somebody's hand you don't know in the house tonight. How you doing, brother? What's up over here? How you doing, sister? What's up, brother? Now, La Mama, make some noise! All right. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Club La Mama, located here in beautiful New York City. I'm your host for the evening, Monteria Ivy. Hey! And of course, you know, here at La Mama, we love to practice the art of verbal warfare, otherwise known as snapping. And we are the kings and queens of doing it here in our club. And if you're a new person, I know we have some visitors tonight. If you are new, we have two rules when you come to our club. Rule number one, we have all kinds of comedy. So tonight, you'll hear some nice, clean-cut comedy. There could be a little pussyfuck dick humor along the way. All right? But you can handle it. Go with the flow. Number two. We snap on each other, but we'll also snap on any of you that we see in the house tonight. So please, don't take it personal. If we happen to snap on you tonight, it is only comedy, because at La Mama, if you can't take the heat, shame on your black ass, right? <laughs> so, for instance, how many music lovers do we have in the house tonight? I know. If you love good music, you have probably been wondering, when are the Weather Girls coming out for a new album? Well, let's find out right now. <laughs> it's rain and pork chops. Okay, cool, but we also have a celebrity in the house tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the Mighty Quinn Part Two here tonight, hanging out at the club. And he is sitting next to a very lovely young lady. Hi, what's your name? Naomi. Naomi, ooh, you said that very sexy. What do you do for a living? Publicist. You are a public? Oh, you are a publicist. Ooh. Ooh, very fancy title for a comic book reader. Okay. <laughs> but I see you got it going on. You don't have an attitude, right? You ready to have a good time? Okay. And let me ask you one other question. Do you eat healthy? Oh, you do? So you won't mind these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> They were all good sports. Give them all a hand for being good sports, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, by the sound of the bell, ladies and gentlemen, you know what that means. It is time for the main event of the evening. Let the snappy begin! All right. Now, you know, there's always a reason why they come here, ladies and gentlemen, but let me tell you the story tonight. JoJo used to be the best snapper around the block, and Artie was his everyday victim. Ragged him something crazy. Are you nervous? Your nipples are hard. All right. <laughs> and tonight, they are gonna get together for the first time since childhood, and this time, it's personal. So ladies and gentlemen, here on our stage, it's gonna be settled between Artie's awesome arsenal and JoJo and the Wolfman. Are we ready? She's a 
and Georgia Peach. But you better not mess with her. Give it up for some more. From Brooklyn, New York, Mr. A.G. White. And the captain of the team, taking no short, is Artie in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, Artie and his awesome arsenal. Give him a hand one more time. And their opponents tonight, oh, they come ready. They're ready to do some damage, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to welcome JoJo and his wolf men. They went to the family picnic oh, yeah. and they picked up Uncle Jimmy Mack. And he brought his nephew, Will. And the captain of the team from DC Chocolate City, Now, captains, let me get the two captains here at the center of the floor. Artie and JoJo. Come on up, Artie. All right, gentlemen. Once again, I want to tell you the rules of the evening. Listen closely. We have a line in the center of the floor. You cannot cross the line. You cannot touch each other. But you and your opponents can say whatever they want about the other team. You can talk about their family, their heads, or even their mothers if you have to. But remember, don't cross the line. Now, I want you to shake hands and come out snapping. All right, we get the two teams a chance to huddle up. But obviously, Artie's not a team player, so he's not huddling up with his team. Oh, they all that. We're going to start off with the two captains. It's Artie and <laughs> JoJo. Coming in here looking like a broke Jeffy Osborne. That's why your house is so small. If you drop a washcloth, you'd have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Ooh! Ha! Ain't that some shit? That was all right, though. Talking shit with y'all little itty-bitty, teeny-weeny-ass house. Nigga, I was little as shit. Nigga, your house so small, the welcome mat just say, well, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> That's what we're talking about, like right that. Right. All right, it's A.G. and Will. Will, you stuttering motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something now, I'm not your ordinary cracker. Forget the saltine, I'm the Ritz. But I got something to say for you and your mammy. Your mother's so stupid. She thought a traffic jam was a party in the middle of the street. Oh, uh, represent, represent. All right, Will. Yo, A.G. White. A.G. White. Your mother, teeth is so yellow, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they mean business tonight. But now it's time for some more and Uncle Jimmy Mack. Okay. First of all, you look like a country-ass pimp. Talking about, bitch, better have my pork chop. <laughs> Your mother's so fat, she sat on a rainbow and a bitch made Skittles. Ooh! Uh-oh. Hitting below the belt. All right, Jimmy. Uncle Jimmy in the house. Phone 
boo. Don't make you a call girl. Oh! broke onyx. I don't give a fuck. That's why your mama's so nasty. Your father ate a pussy and got food poisoning. Oh, Get nasty. Talk about, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get Talk nasty. about people mother pussy. Oh, don't even go there. That's why your mother pussy so dry the crabs carry canteens. <laughs> We're gonna keep it going, A.G. and Will. Goddamn, goddamn Will, you's an ugly mofo. What the hell, a, a black boy with a white, with a hockey jersey? No. Check it out, Will, Will, Will ugly. You know Will ugly, cause Will's mother's ugly. Will's so ugly, my motherfucker's mother had to sneak up on her makeup. So where that blush, where that blush at? All right, I guess you had to be there, okay. But don't go nowhere, A.G. Because Will got something for you. Yo, A.G. White! A.G. White! Your mama is so dumb. She came up to me, she said, Will, what does yield mean? I said, go slow. She said, what does yield mean? in a shutout so far. All right, some more and Uncle Jimmy. Still time for a comeback. First of all, your dick is so small, you piss on your balls. Ooh. Going for the itty bitty dick jokes, but that don't phase Uncle Jimmy. Okay, you a chick with a dick. But ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. So why don't you grind them goddamn bumps on your face? Oh! Ooh. Don't mess with Uncle Jimmy. And the sound of the bell tells me, ladies and gentlemen, that we're now in the second round of the competition. We call this the elimination round. Now, in the elimination round, we want both teams to know, if you tell a snap that our audience doesn't like, you're not going to leave us any choice but to... <laughs> That's right, we're going to sick the dogs on you. And we'll do that until there's one team or one person representing their team left on the floor to determine a winner. Do we have a goodie going on tonight, folks? Yeah! All right. So now we're gonna reverse the order for the elimination. We're gonna start with some more and Uncle Jimmy Mack. Here we go. Come on, girl, represent. First of all, you haven't had pussy in so long. By the time you got a nut, dust came out your dick. That sounded a lot like a true story. And unfortunately, the dogs are out. Oh, You're out of there, sweetheart. But, but before you leave, Uncle Jimmy got something he want to say to you. You are dumb. So dumb, I see you at the phone receiver up your ass waiting on a booty call. But it's all right. It ain't over yet. It's not over yet, fellas. A.G. Oh, and Will. Oh, yeah. We got Will. We know Will's mama. Will's mother sucked so much dick, her lips went double platinum. Ooh! 
talk about she going to do Snoop Doggy Dog, that biatch. Oh, trying to represent and bring his team back. But Will is ready. What? Hey, A.G. A.G. I saw your mother walking down the street with her titties hanging out. I said, girl, your titty is hanging out. She said, oh my goodness, I left a baby on the bus. Oh. 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 Sam, all right. The dogs, the dogs are barking. The dogs are barking, but because AG interrupted the punchline, that's a violation on him. Will still in the game. All right, but they're both still in. They're both still in. We go now back to the captains, Artie and JoJo. JoJo, that's why your father is so stupid. Nigga put the air conditioner in backwards, talking about he gonna go chill outside. <laughs> All right, Artie's starting to represent. Artie? I know you ain't talking shit. Rough as your mother. Mother rough than a motherfucker. Just rough for no reason. Nigga, your mother's so rough she sing back up for the Wu Tang. Whoa, ho, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Now it's AG going up against Uncle Jimmy Mac. Jimmy Mac, your old ass motherfucker. <laughs> Jimmy Mac, so old, when Moses parted the Red Sea, he was on the other side fishing. <laughs> Who? There it is. <laughs> A.G. representing. All right, Uncle Jimmy. Look at here, look at here, what? <laughs> A.G. What? Yo, mammy, remind me of a toilet bowl. She's fat, she's white, and she smell like all right, it's Artie and Will. I will. That's why your mama is so stupid. She put a piece of gum up her ass so she can pop shit. <laughs> Oh, they hanging tough. All right, Will. Now, you know I know his dyslexic mama. I know her. Your mother got three toes on her knee, and they call her Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> All right. They're hanging in there. OK, AG and JoJo. Look at here. Look at here, country. Look at motherfucking here. Joe's mother's so black, that bitch can go butt naked to a funeral. Yeah, hold up. Yes, the dogs are out, AG. I'm afraid you're going to be out, but before you leave, JoJo, Don't tell us something black, for you. Because we know you ain't got an all-white family. You know, you got some black in your family. I went to a cookout over the nigga house. Should have seen his aunt, aunt black than a motherfucker. Nigga, your mother aunt, your motherfucking aunt so black, if the bitch get cut, she don't bleed, she just smoke. <laughs> oh! But, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what we got right now, though. We got one man, Artie, going up against this whole team. Crossman, 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 Crossman. All right, so now, all right, all right. Now we're going to find out whether or not Artie can hang against the three of them. It's going to be Uncle Jimmy Mack and Artie. Come on, Jimmy. Settle. Arthur. Your whole family, like O.J. Simpson. Ooh. They made the headlines. That's because they wiped their ass with newspaper. <laughs> Tuscaloosa, but you're out of here, Uncle Jimmy. Now it's one against two, Artie and Will. That's why I know your little sister. Your little sister's like a bowling ball. She gets picked up, fingered, thrown down the gutter, and the bitch comes back for more. Represent, Will. 
That's why your mother ain't got no arms beyond Wheel of Fortune talking about, come on, big money! Big money! All right, he's hanging in there. Let's see if Artie can keep on hanging. It's Artie and JoJo. Punk ass. That's why your grandmother retarded. She got an eye here, an eye here, an eye here, and an eye here. I knocked on the door. She came to the people and said, who is it? <laughs> who are you? I don't know you. <laughs> oh, you don't play that. Oh, you don't play that. And you know what? <laughs> but that don't phase my man, JoJo. That don't phase JoJo. That old stupid shit with your dumb ass mother. Mother just dumb, stupid than a motherfucker. Just stupid, dumb. Y'all should see the bitch. I was over the house, I said, why don't you count from 100 backwards? The bitch did like this. 99, 98, 90. Sorry, JoJo. I'm sorry, JoJo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, JoJo. But I'm sorry, JoJo. I understand. I'm sorry, but now we got Artie and we got Will. It's one on one. Winner take all. All right, Artie. Nigga, that's why your brother is retarded. He got feet on his back. Chase the bus like this. <laughs> Artie's been holding his own. All right, Will, can you represent? That's why your mother is so nasty. There's a little sign by her pussy that reads warning. May cause irritation, drowsiness, and rash breakout. Oh, oh they starting to get down and dirty. Huh. That don't face Artie. That don't phase my man. All right, he goes up to his team for a little prepping, and he's back. <laughs> Nigga, that's why your mama pussy is so big. You can't fuck her. You got to go bungee jumping in it. <laughs> uh, OK. All right, well, check this out. That's why his mother got one leg on backwards and be missing the bus like this. Wait for me! Oh! 